Hello everybody, this is Hybrid. And this is White Sheep. And we are going to do a review of Teen Titans issue number 11. So we just, um, White Sheep and I did a quick kind of recap, catching up on the previous issues so we would really know what's going on. And yeah, I guess we'll start a recap part now. So page one, we have Wonder Girl in pain. I guess it's like the, I guess the, um, the armor she has called the silent armor is kind of in know, her body or something yeah it's like forcing her way out so i was under the i guess thought that she was actually wearing it so this kind of confuses me i mean it extremists uh <laughs> maybe um i i really don't get it i mean but this this here i guess it's a cool little plot thing for her to just be writhing in pain maybe Maybe yeah. it's just an excuse to show her in, you know, what looks to be skimpy Underwear. pajamas. Yeah. So. so we go on to the second slash third page, which is... My biggest regret of this issue. Yeah, I don't know why they decided, hey, let's have a blue Hulk in it. They devote literally, like, a third of the issue to this guy, and it makes no sense. <laughs> it's more like a half of the issue, really. Yeah. It's very short. It's only 14 pages of the main story. Then they have some weird side story that we're not going into, which makes yep. no sense. I mean, because suddenly they just start the issue, and this dude's here, and he's beating the crap out of the Teen Titans. And then they need... And apparently, they didn't even know Wonder Girl was home, which is another weird thing. And so she has to swoop in and save the bus. It's just a lot of unnecessary stuff here, it feels like. I mean, you know, just that guy's kicking the crap out of him. And then, so, yeah, we have Wonder Girl now who decides to join the fight. And apparently her armor is fine here, and she has no spikes on her whatsoever. Yeah, so it turns out, I guess, that, uh, uh, it turns out the guy's name is Loose Cannon, which is I mean, original. What makes him a Loose original. Cannon, the fact, I don't know. But, and then he's yeah. just some dude that Bunker met on Craigslist. And we yeah. see here in this, I guess, this, this page that she, or Wonder Girl, kind of loses control of her powers a little bit. Yeah. It almost has, like, an alter ego. Yeah, I guess, like, the suit was controlling her or whatever, and all of a sudden she's back <laughs> to normal, not in pain or anything, and she's like, oh, what did I do? And, so, okay, so yeah. my biggest issue with this was, here's the point. Out of this entire, I guess, you know, four or five pages of this original, four or five or maybe, like, cause this continues, of this kind of blue guy loose cannon, out of all of this, it seemed like the only plot point they were building up to was... Bunker saying, you know, Robin confessed to me that he's gonna probably disband the Teen Titans. That seemed that could have been handled completely differently and taken up less of the issue. I mean, it just made no sense. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> Bunker just wanted to bring a guy to the house. That yeah, kind of, and we get to see what happened there. But I mean, it still makes no sense to me. It it just is completely unnecessary. Yeah, like uh, Kid Flash makes a good point. You don't just meet someone and bring them here. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I guess moving on, we have the Museum of Natural History Manhattan, which, all right, so they they say this this naked guy who's like in a Indian position with his hands all odd and stuff. I guess he's tracking Wonder Girl with I guess a silent armor she's wearing, but it says he's searching for her for months. What was keeping him from tracking him down like tons of times before? Yep, she's she's. She hasn't been moving around that much, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe in the first few Teen Titan issues, you could say that she's pretty mobile, but, you know, she's not that mobile anymore. Yep. So we get to later that night, and this is one thing that kind of, uh, it's kind of odd for me. Uh, one, because or they just pretty much trash the house, and they're not worried about the fact that Red, Rob Red Robin's going to come back to this and see that the house is pretty much destroyed, yet they're just watching TV and eating popcorn and pizza. And then also, uh, half a city away or whatever, we have Superboy, who I guess all of a sudden has a tattoo on his arm and is a bad boy with a fetish for blonde chicks that look like Wonder Girl. Yep, suddenly he um, understands enough about the world to get the bitches, so... Yeah, which makes no sense. Like, what, like last comic, he like knew nothing about being social, pretty much. And Basically. all of a sudden, now he has a girl on his arm and then also he says he needs to check on his friends and then stops and says on some people i know where you know he kind of hugged robin or red robin and was being all buddy buddy with them for the entire issue so you know 
who knows? He's just, I guess, becoming a, a badass, maybe. Or some kind of fake badass. Yeah, like, last just, issue, he was, like, it seems, best friends. And that's one of my other issues with this comic, is they just change the characters every second. It's like every five seconds, it's a new personality for everyone. Um, yeah. So, and so, it, it's just lots of problems here, I feel. Yeah, they, they really need a kind of like and also they changed um superboy's kind of outfit um which to me I, I have to say honestly i don't know why he did that he had a perfectly fine original outfit beforehand i mean i i i, I honestly would have been fine if they just stuck just stuck with jeans and a t-shirt but that now he's too. wearing like a vest with some badass glasses so true true, true. just kind of like the the, the woke we, we got a badass in here but it's they just change the character so much I feel like it's hard to ever connect with anyone and it's the pacing is still just awful <laughs> in this in this comic so yeah we go back to I guess uh, the tower and they've lost electricity and Bunker or not Bunker but Kid Flash decides to go check it out which isn't the best thing because assumably Wonder Girl punches him and all right, this is my thing alright so punches him right he should be knocked out, or at least he should be, f right, for getting hit by someone as strong as Wonder Girl, he should be either flying into a wall, flying yeah. out of a building, or something along that, because he's somehow able to run back to the room where Bunker and Sol Solstice are in, and then pass out, which really doesn't make that much sense, honestly. Yep. I mean, I, that's another thing. Why would she have to blow the fuse? Why would that make any sense? Yeah, there's really no reason for Cause it. Seriously, and how did she get down to the fuse box with no one noticing or caring, dressed up in this, you know, I guess, now really spiky armor, as you'll see in the next frame? Yeah, um, it's, uh, let's see. All right, so we the, have Bunker, actually. Yeah. He tries blocking the door. Wait, but here's here's my other issue with this uh, this issue is this whole part where Solstice goes, my love, and then Bunker's like, okay, what did I miss? And just that's another example of why pacing in the story is awful, because why did that need to happen right then? What does that attribute to, you know, I guess, the immediate story? And it really doesn't contribute anything. You just saw Kid Flash getting beat up, and your first reaction is to ask, holy crap, when did you and Kid Flash start doing the nasty? That's <laughs> that's the question you're asking, not, holy crap, who beat up Kid Flash? Yeah, that's a good it, point. Yeah, they, they, they seem to really... Plus, how do they not notice that they're making out when they teleported back to... Yep. Basically, that's just another that thing. That, too, that's, but, that, that was weird. Yeah, that was kind of forced, I think. But, I hate the fact that, you know, the main character of the series, Danny the Street, died, too. That, yeah. that sucked. I, I don't know what they're going to do now. Yeah. He was the leader of the Teen Titans. <laughs> then we have um, Bunker, I guess his bricks or whatever, gets um, broken through. But this is the strange thing. He gets knocked out by his own <laughs> brick. But that doesn't make that much sense, because if he makes the bricks with his mind... Wouldn't shouldn't he be impervious to his bricks? Especially and, since he control the density I guess of unless them? It, unless it, you know completely surprised him and have i told you how i feel like this is the most shameless green lantern ripoff ever yeah honestly <laughs> i'm i'm staying true to what i said before i don't like bunker i Dude, don't like I skitter bunker. i really don't i was trying to give solstice a chance but she's not it's not adding anything I'm to okay me i'm okay with solstice but really it's kind of because she's naked the entire time <laughs> i'd rather hey, if they want a mexican character Giggity. get blue beetle if they want a black exactly. character get static uh -huh. if they want a kind of character that's possibly Weird. mystically connected just get either zatanna or maybe raven because I, I feel I like mean, solstice is like trying to they're trying to get her to a place where raven was i mean because here's the thing i mean i feel like they're trying to introduce something new you know hence the new and new 52 but i think they're trying to you know kind of do their own thing right now but the issue is the pacing is killing every single development of any character you could possibly have and that's why you see these characters change from time to time to fit the situation they're sacrificing uh you know i guess core concepts of the characters or what we're told are kind of core you know morals of characters just for the sake of you know whatever crappy story it happens to be and i guess you know you see solstice just all of a sudden is all over kid flash and bunker is you know 
I guess, all of a sudden really good buds with Superboy in every Superboy issue. I mean, I think, you know, thinking with, you know, thinking with something, some male organ down south on that one. <laughs> but, and suddenly Superboy and Red Robin are best friends. Yet it's just, they're not all friends again. That they're sacrificing weird. character development, and they're just, you know, flying through it. And there's no, I mean, honestly, me reading it, I have no connection to any of these characters at all. I mean, that's, I, that is the biggest tragedy. <laughs> Yeah. in my mind so all right now we have um solstice so i guess points out that the person attacking them all is one girl and um she's like oh it's complicated like you and bart i was pretty sure the thing between her and bart was pretty simple they make out a lot and yeah like why she said they doing the dirty i mean but th- but that's only been happening for an issue it's not complicated that's like an 11 year old posting on a facebook staff man i just kissed a boy but he says he doesn't like me like that it's complicated facebook relationship status update it's dumb it's not complicated get over yourself yeah. <laughs> and that's another thing i feel like this this comic is shamelessly pandering to a bunch of age groups you see some of the some of the content that happens like you show wonder girl in you know really skimpy clothing that's like teens and adults yeah, like and starfire young adults. yeah starfire like a exactly. playboy model suddenly suddenly okay there are all these puns and these things that only a 10 year old would understand it's like or everyone else understands it but no one else finds it entertaining i mean it's it's one of those things where it's just, it's like, pick an age group and stick with it. Is I this wish... meant for 10-year-olds or is this meant for 15-year-olds? I wish um, you could see White Sheep's hand movements because they're, am- they're hilarious right now. And hybrid is the Italian one, and I'm making all the hand <laughs> motions. Yeah, so then we have, I guess, Tim Drake in a taxi, and I guess he's like, everything's all slow. Except for, I guess, he leaves the taxi and decides, oh, let me go as Red Robin, which to me... All right, well, hold on. Before we get to that, we have Solstice fighting Wonder Girl, and I guess... All right, this okay. is the thing that makes me feel Solstice is... They have her trying to be a fill-in for, I guess, Raven, is the fact that she's like, oh, that's a mistake a lot of people make Wonder Girl. And she's like, oh, what what's this mistake? And it's like, thinking my power comes from this world. I was pretty sure she had photokinesis, being able to mani- manipulate and project light. So how is that not well, from... That would make it universal, but that's the... I mean, then I guess there's going to be, hopefully, an issue dedicated to Solstice and how she got her powers like that. Yeah. But, oh. I mean, okay, so here's the thing. I mean, what... They... they or, so I guess one girl, which is odd, because I thought one girl was just stealing these things. I didn't think yep. she actually researched them, but it seems like she researched them as well, she knows it was forged in the heart the, of a son. I think this is the armor talking. I think the armor has possessed her, or her... Something has possessed her because you saw earlier she lost her temper and blacked out. Yeah, I'm or thinking she... maybe that guy's controlling her. Actually. That's completely possible. But then you know why is he attacking the Teen Titans? But um, the issue. He or, be attacking see, Justice here's the thing. Too. Here's another issue with my the pacing and the weird story in this. You take Mister Blue Ball Blue Balls Loose Cannon out of the first you know three or four or five or six pages of this. Just cut to the chase with that part and just have Bunker be like, oh, the Teen Titans might get disbanded. <gasps> Sad face. And then you just have this fight between Wonder Girl and Solstice, which could be a really good fight. Yeah, I would love to And take up three or four fight. pages instead of just going, you know, one page, four frames, and then it's suddenly over. Yeah. And someone is dead because there's lots of blood on the ground. Yeah, Solstice was um talking some pretty big talk for someone who didn't do anything and someone who basically is just an overpowered flashlight at this point yeah she doesn't really add that much to the team oh which brings us to the next page where we have red robin and superboy flying to the i guess titans t- or not titans tower but to red robin's apartment which is pretty now this pretty much destroyed now which makes me think why why did red robin even bother taking a cab like it's not like he knew about this going on but you know, he still decide. Oh, traffic's slow. Let me use my, I guess, jetpack or whatever. So, yeah, there's that. And then also, Superboy with his See, I'm a I'm a bad boy <coughs> biker jacket. Yep, that's another thing. If you have a jetpack, why are you taking a taxi? Yeah, uh, jetpack. Why don't you just do this in the first place? Especially if you're trying to be like, if you guys are like, okay, we've got to hide our identities, and he's all about the Red Robin thing. If you're trying to hide your identity. Why are you teamed up with a bunch of people who just destroyed your apartment, which yeah. no one seems to give a shit about? Yeah, I don't think anyone. I don't think this is helping the fact that Tim Drake might disband the team. Yep. I honestly, if I was Tim Drake, I'd be like, I, 
first off, fix my apartment. <laughs> Second off, get the hell out of here. Basically, I'd be like, okay, you f- f- just fix everything up, you know, and then show yourselves out. Go do whatever you want to do. I would honestly, I feel like he's the. They try to play him like the straight man. I think they take turns playing him as and Superboy as the like kind of the straight, I guess, kind of serious, person. more serious person. And then you see Superboy gets portrayed as a social kind of idiot and. Rob or Red Robin is just always this kind of hard ass, and they kind of just use that against him and just hit him in the face with it. But it it just doesn't work for me. I mean, it's you see a lot of too many characters, like even within one character. I mean, Red Robin goes from hard ass to kind of like buddy buddy, and Superboy goes all the way from social retard to getting all of the ladies, <laughs> and. I don't even know. It's uh, it's all over the place. Yeah. So we actually go to the last page in the comic. Uh, like I said, it's a very short comic, actually. And we have Wonder Girl, I guess, fully decked out in the armor, saying, please help me before I kill again. Which, I guess, surprises everybody. Like, Superboy is like a Cassie, I guess. I guess he's, he's, he's not friends with them, but he's able to, you know. Be on first name basis. Yeah, and then we have um, Red Robin, who's like again, which is more of the smarter question. Like, exactly. Who did she just kill? Like, all right, I'm pretty sure if she just killed anyone, it'd be Solstice. First off, being she knocked out Red um, Kid Flash, and you know, with the past issues, Kid Flash be- should be able to deal with more forces than what she did to him, especially after the whole thing with Superboy. Then we have uh, Bunker, who got knocked out by his own bricks. So there's that he's just being stupid unless he somehow got killed i mean i i wouldn't mind that actually mm-hmm. but most likely it's solstice who died which is fine with me kill solstice and they've seemingly killed off or i guess decide hey let's not have skitter because she's a dumb character they did mention raven earlier in the series though didn't they it was like the yeah, first episode, the it was the first, first issue. one they had her like because yeah red robin was or he was looking at all these like panels kind of of different teenage or superheroes yep. and it had um one of them was raven another one was actually static yeah, as well i saw that i mean and the, one was miss martian the issue is is because the teen titans they seem to be hanging their hat on the fact that they've got you know a new gay mexican character and that's you know yay minorities but um i have no problem with that but the he's another character that they haven't developed well um and so Solstice seems to be the most mysterious character, the most warranting of an origin story. She's Indian, though. And I know she's Indian. And but they, they make no reference to that whatsoever. They haven't given her any kind of background at all, really. It's just the, oh, she's she, Indian, that's cool. And she was kidnapped by nowhere, and she's been there for a while. But they never really elaborate on it. It's They don't even say she's Indian, actually. I had to do research on the character to find pre 52, she was Indian. Well, I mean, I thought, I can't remember where I got I think it might have been her name, but I mean... It yeah, was her real name. It was yeah. It's just she's. Uh, if they kill her, then that's one of those things where it's like no one's gonna care. On the one hand, it's I guess good because you know, then I guess you don't have to explain her origin, and you know I guess that kind of is almost better than having her live and not explaining her origin. But then, why the fuck was she around for eleven issues? Yeah, it's. <laughs> They didn't come, and then we go to I guess the side story, which we're not going to cover. I don't even I'm just to read this. the only reason I'm gonna say that this is or this is stupid. I don't know why they decided to donate like a good, a good chunk of the comic that could have been more about this main story to this is. Or, so I guess we have these dinosaur humans, basically lizard people, lizard people, and then Kid Flash is somehow like, is fine. Yeah, Kid Flash is like yeah. I guess this takes place some other time. Oh, oh alternate and universe. Yeah, Kid Flash is like, oh, I wonder what's going on. We have dinosaur men. Maybe they came back with us from, I guess, the mysterious island, which makes no sense because Danny the Street... Oh, and then they have Danny the Street there, which is where, like, I'm pretty sure Danny the Street was dying, and I'm also pretty sure or that he is dead now, or it's supposed to be, and I'm Maybe pretty sure... he just sh- stays in the one place where he was. I mean. Yeah, and I, well, no, I'm also pretty sure that Danny the Street would have been able to teleport just to Titans and not any other creature. Because he seemed to, in the previous issues, have pretty good control over who and what he teleports. Yeah. So, this whole plot, subplot, really doesn't make that much sense, honestly, when you think about it. Uh, but, yeah, I guess we can get on to the score of the issue now. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so, it's not the most positive score we've given. 
previous team uh, Titan issues, but it's just a lot of stuff is really random. And finally, after all the issues, we, I think honestly, I don't know about White Sheep. I, I can't speak for him, but for me, I really expected more. Yep, that's that's the whole feeling that I have out of every issue. I'm just so sick of it now. I'm, I, I'm reading it because I'm just hoping it's getting better, but it's it's growing old on me really yeah. fast. The only reason I still buy Teen Titan issues really is because of the fact that I'm a big fan of Teen Titans, going way back to the previous yeah. comic series and the previous comic series before that, and also due to the fact that honestly, I just really, I'm really just reading for Tim Drake pretty much because I'm a big Tim Drake fan. But with that being said, art 4.5 because they still do a pretty good job with they do a really good job with the art. I gotta admit, yeah, I, that's um, that's the one thing I love about this issue is the art. They have a good artist. Mm -hmm. Don't I, lose that artist. And again, it's it's that's the art is really one of the only redeeming qualities for me. I'm not sure that that kind of to me attributes more potential to it, because I, I see a lot of potential in this comic, but it's just haven't lived up to it. Eleven issues in. Yeah. So, plus the annual. I'm not even counting the annual. Can I count that yeah. as twelve? <laughs> yeah, you can count the annual. Twelve. And then we have writing, plot, and characters three. The reason why we have writing three, uh, why should I'll let you cover that one writing for three you're damn lucky it wasn't lower <laughs> um i guess the writing is intelligible english um i i just feel like even though there is some problems with it i'm also kind of still giving it that score because of potential i see it lots of potential and it is actually i guess okay written for the way they're going about it i feel like it's really roundabout it's it, a lot of stuff doesn't make sense but the way they're writing it, the character interactions are the best they can be without, I guess, or without really getting set characters, which they need to do. Because they need to stop changing how characters act from interaction to interaction because that's just throwing a wrench in the entire thing. I mean, the writing is as good as it can get for what they're doing with the plot and characters. And, you know, that just goes to the plot and characters, really. Yeah, it's like the writing suffers because of the plot yeah. and characters. The plot suffers because of the writing ca and characters, and the characters suffer because of the writing and plot. It's like, it's just insane. I I don't even know what to say anymore. Yeah, and then honestly, uh, for plot, the you know the plot's kind of random. Like they had they they have a plot, and for the whole issue, they could have just stayed with that plot. You know, like the Supergirl battle and whatnot, but instead they decided to add loose cannon and all or, this other know, random Wonder crap, Girl. which doesn't fit in at all. And then for characters, we have... Uh, basically, a lot of characters don't act like they, you know, you think they would, especially Superboy, who supposedly <laughs> had really no social ability, yet now he's, like, the bad boy of the group, basically, if this was, like, a boy band, I guess. And then we have Enjoyment for 7, because and they're lucky I'm giving this a 7. Like, I'm only giving this a 7, I don't, actually, I don't even know why I'm giving it a 7. I'm just giving it a 7 to give it a 7. It's, see, the thing is, for me, I always... I, I do. There's an enjoyment factor for me in the way they do the art. The art brings a lot to this comic. I like the art. The art's pretty much the best thing. That, I mean... It is the best thing, arguably. Yeah. No, not arguably. It is flat out the best yeah, thing. it's the best thing. But, I mean... And we're writing plot and characters suffer, depending on the issues. This was, to me, one of the better issues than the past several. I mean... The culling was cool, and it was nice that they had a straight objective in mind and worked for that, but there were yeah. still issues. But, I mean, for me, enjoyment, this issue overall, it was just an enjoyment to see actually something that looked like a good plot, even though it was hidden in all this crap about loose cannon and Solstice and Kid Flash doing the dirty. I mean, it was... I enjoyed it, but not, not as much as I had hoped to. I mean, I'm, I'm losing faith. Yeah, so overall, with all the scores together, it's about 68%. Yep. So hopefully they can do better, or else I There's might so much potential. save some, you know, four, three, four dollars every other week or so. Basically. But yeah, so this is hybrid and white sheep, and with an intellectual property as such as this one, I hope they get their shit together. Yes, and please subscribe, comment, and like. Check do out it. our other videos and go yeah, check out Comic Book Cast. We had a really good time. Like I yes, guess two did. days ago now. We had a very good them. time. It was fun. Last night actually. Last night, well, I mean, now it's two days ago. Oh, whatever. We talked to him again today. All right. All right, see you. See you.